Any child that's eligible for the COVID vaccine and doesn't have a medical reason not to get it, we would strongly recommend that they get the vaccine, especially with the highly contagious Delta variant circulating here in Connecticut. The Delta variant is concerning really because of its transmissibility and how contagious it is. It appears to be significantly more contagious than the original strains that were circulating. So because of that, the number of people that can get infected if, they, if they're exposed to one person can be quite high. We would still recommend that uh, a child over the age of 12 get the vaccine, even if they've had COVID previously, because it will provide extra protection, especially against the Delta variant. The majority of kids do quite well with COVID and, and don't get super sick or require hospitalization. The, the challenge for us is we can't predict which kid is gonna end up in the hospital or in the intensive care unit versus the ones that, that don't. So therefore, um, to eliminate that risk altogether, we really recommend vaccination. I, I think it's always important if you have questions about the vaccine to talk to your pediatrician and make sure you have accurate information when making the decision as to whether or not you vaccinate your child. There's a lot of misinformation out there on the internet um, about the COVID vaccine. So when making that decision, you wanna make sure you have the right information. The bottom line is we know masking is highly effective at preventing transmission of COVID and we think it will also be effective against the Delta variant as well. So that is really the primary risk mitigation strategy for those who are not eligible for vaccination. Um, social distancing is also helpful and then um, anything outside continues to be better than anything inside. So outdoor activities will always be preferred if you're going on vacation or traveling because the risk of getting COVID when you're outside is very low.